This video contains three examples of quadratic inequalities from the Leaving Cert Higher Level course. Example 1 solve the inequality that x squared minus 2x minus 8 is less than or equal to 0. Well, an approach to this question would be if we solve x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. So if this function was equal to 0, what would the solution be? So we'll write out that x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So we'd factorize this first, because it looks like a straightforward one. We don't need to use the formula. Factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of minus 8 would be minus 4 and plus 2 that work in this example. So therefore, x must be equal to 4, or x must be equal to minus 2. So these are solutions. Now, if we give a rough sketch of this graph, um, we know that this is a positive quadratic, so it has a u-shape as opposed to an n-shape. And we know it cuts the x-axis at minus 2 and 4. So roughly it looks like this. Now the question is asking the, in the inequality to give the values of this function where its values are less than or equal to 0. So let me just draw in yellow here. Now we see that it does include the minus 2 and 4. That where this function is less than zero is, is where it's below the x-axis so because it includes the minus two and the four we use the uh, greater than or equal to or less than equal to inequality symbols so the solution is um, x is between minus two and four now there is an algebraic method of doing this as well now, the algebra method would be we would solve it as we already have done and we, we test what happens if x equals zero and we could test for any number but x equals zero into the original function is the easiest one to check so we'd have zero squared minus two times zero minus eight and when you work that out that's equal to minus eight and minus eight well is that less than zero and we see that yes that it is so it's true so that means that the zero value is a true value and is that inside or outside the range of values minus 2 to 4? And we see that it's inside minus 2 and 4. So therefore, the inside values are true. So that means x is between minus 2 and 4. So that's the algebraic method of doing it. Example 2, find the range of values of k for which the equation x squared plus k minus 4 times x plus k minus 1 equals 0 has real roots. Well, let's consider the quadratic formula. If x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, the square root of that all over 2 times a, what values would that have real roots? Well, it has real roots when the discriminant or the part underneath the square root sign b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. So what we're asking ourselves is well, when in our equation are the values of a, b, and c such that the discriminant is greater than or equal to zero? Well, in ours we see a is one, b is k minus four, and c is k minus one. So therefore the value of b squared minus four ac is k minus four to b squared minus four times one by k minus one. And we want this to be greater than or equal to zero. So this is the start of our inequality. So we'll expand this out. k minus 4 to b squared is k squared minus 8k plus 16 and multiply minus 4 by 1 by k minus 1 and we get minus 4k plus 4. That's greater than or equal to zero. Just neaten this up and we have the quadratic k squared minus 12k plus 20 is greater than or equal to zero. So first what we do is we'd solve if this was equal to zero. So imagine k squared minus 12k plus 20 is equal to zero, if that was the case. So again, we'll factorize it first. So factors of k squared are k and k, and the factors of plus 20 would be um, minus 2 and minus 10. The multiply gives us plus 20, but when we add them, it give me minus 12. So k is equal to 10 or 2. Now if we give a sketch of this, because that's easier than the algebraic method I think, a rough sketch of this is a positive quadratic because it's a k squared not a minus k squared value and we're looking at it cuts the axis at 2 and 10 and we're asked the question is 
that the function is greater than or equal to this. So our answers are really along the x-axis of what values is the function greater than this and we see it's when it's less than 2 or equal to 2 because uh, so k is less than 2 but k is bigger than 10 so this time it's when it's kind of outside these values so, so k is less than 2 or equal to 2 and bigger than or equal to 10 you could do this using the algebraic method as in the first example either Example 3, find the range of values of x for which 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 is less than a half. Okay, the problem with this is we're not sure if x plus 2 is positive or not. For instance, if x had a value of minus 3, this would be negative. And if we multiply both sides by a negative, we'd have to change the direction of the inequality. And we're not sure whether to do this or not. So the trick we use is instead we would multiply by x plus 2 squared because we know the value of anything squared must be greater than or equal to 0 and this wouldn't affect the inequality. So we write out what we have. We have uh, 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 and that's less than a half. Now if we multiply both sides by this number which is not negative x plus 2 to be squared, we do that to both sides also, I don't like the, the divide by 2 on the right-hand side. So we multiply both sides by 2 as well. Now, when we do that, we get the following cancellations. And we multiply out what's left. So 2 by x plus 2 gives me 2x plus 4. And that's been multiplied by 2x plus 1. And that's less than what we have on the left-hand side, which is x squared plus 4x plus 4 when we expand it out. We should know how to expand a simple binomial. So 2x by 4 by 2x is 4x squared, 4 by 2x is plus 8x plus 2x plus 4 and then we have the right hand side. Now we see a plus 4 on both sides so if we take 4 from both sides they cancel out. We'll take x squared from both sides we end up with 3x squared we have 2x and 8x, that's 10x, and we take 4x from both sides, we end up with plus 6x, and that's uh, less than 0. Divide both sides by 3, so x squared plus 2x is less than 0. Now, let's consider if this function was equal to 0. So if you make the statement that x squared plus 2x was equal to 0, consider the solutions to this. Well, the factors of this would be x into uh, x plus 2. And this would be equal to 0 if x equals 0, or if x equals minus 2. So now let's draw a sketch of what the uh, x squared plus 2x uh, less than 0 might look like. We know it's a positive uh, quadratic, and it has the roots at minus 2 and 0. So the sketch looks something like this. And um, in our thing, we know that this is less than 0. So where is this uh, graph less than 0? It's less than 0. And so we're looking at this here. It's less than 0 uh, below the x-axis. But importantly, it's not equal to 0. So it's below this point here. So just color in yellow where it's less than 0. But importantly, with an empty circle, I represent it. It doesn't equal minus 2 or 0. It's below these or between these points. So between those points is my answer. So how would I write that? I'm saying that x is between minus 2 and 0, but not equal to. So between minus 2 and 0, x is greater than minus 2, but less than 0. That's the solution.